long sons of the Anunnaki and Melanesian tribe DNA genes of unknown species. Researchers have now uncovered the DNA of a previously unknown group of hominids. In October 2016, the American Society of Human Genetics held its annual meeting and the conclusions they reached were nothing short of astounding. The data they collected shows that people in Melanesia, an area in the South Pacific that surrounds Papua New Guinea and its neighboring islands, may be carrying some unknown genes in their DNA. Geneticists believe that unrecognized DNA belongs to a previously unknown species of hominids, humanoids. And according to Ryan Bolander, one of the researchers involved in the study, the species is not Neanderthal nor Denisovan, but something different. We are losing a population, or are we, uh, or we are misinterpreting something about relationships, he said. Denisovans represent an extinct species belonging to the hominid genus. They were named after the discovery in the cave of Denisova in the Siberian mountains of Altai, where the first fragment of the bone that belongs to the species was found. Little is known about this enigmatic cousin of ours, while about the people of Melanesia is not known much for the moment. Human history is much more complicated than we thought, Bolander said. Yes, it is, but piece by piece, the complex past of humanity is brought to light and discoveries like this seem to point in one direction. We could not be who we think we are. And there's a question, there's a quote from the study that you'll probably appreciate. With assumptions about population size and the most recent dates of population separation taken from literature, we estimate the date of archaic modern separation at 440,000 years ago, give or take 300 years, for all modern human populations. 440,000 years. If that number does not ring any bell, reiterate the Anunnaki hypothesis according to the history of Genesis. The 12th planet known as Nibiru or Planet X was populated by hom humanoids very similar to us, means humans. After they encountered a, se a severe problem in the atmosphere, they went on a quest through the solar system to find gold a unique and significant metal that could heal their planet, they claimed, or so the legend goes. When Nibiru approached Earth's orbit approximately 432,000 years before Christ, the Nibirians used spacecraft to send people and essential goods from their planet to Earth. After reaching the surface, the advanced beings established bases in ancient Mesopotamia. Many believe that this is the true reason of the creation of humanity within the laboratories of the Anunnaki geneticists. And this recent study and many more findings confirm this hypothesis almost daily. It offers a vision that could answer one of our oldest and most important questions, who are we? To obtain the irrefutable solution to this secular enigma, we must dig deeply where no one has explored before, but this is harder to say than to do. Another way to do this would be to analyze the hidden microscope record records inside of each of us. The Anunnaki knew that their DNA was the key to the engineering of the ideal slave. In our endless search for our true lineage, we must do the same as human beings. In a recent effort, another group of scientists came to a similar conclusion, led by evolutionary geneticist Eske Willerslev of the National History Museum in Denmark. Scientists examined DNA samples taken from 83 Aboriginal Australians. They also tested 25 participants from native highland populations of Papua New Guinea. To their surprise, the researchers discovered exotic DNA similar to Denisovan in the genomes of study volunteers. Keep in mind, the researchers only called it identical to the Denisovan. Still, the group that seeded their genes to the participants' ancestors is entirely unknown. Who is this group? Who this group is, we don't know, Willerslev said. Neither do we, but a particular crowd comes to mind. Not surprisingly, such discoveries are always made when studying the genome of remote populations. Over the ages, these isolated groups had little contact with the outside world. They lived and procreated 
within closed communities, and this is reflected in their genome. The richer and more diverse your ancestry, the less likely it is that particular genes will remain unchanged. In the case of the Australian and Melanesian Aborigines, isolation means that fewer genes were altered throughout their existence. It's not difficult to imagine this alternative version of our past. The Anunnaki come to Earth, play God, and create humanity. Chief scientist Enki and chief medical officer Ninti use genetic manipulation and in vitro fertilization to create human beings in their image. They use society to serve their purposes, and when it suits them, they dispense destruction in the form of a flood of biblical proportions, a part of history suppressed under conspiracy, the writer claims. And then some chosen human beings are protected by a faction of the Anunnaki who decided to go against the protocol. They survive and spread in every corner of the globe. Thousands of generations pass, and the genomes of those who socialize more mingle beyond recognition, but in some places the flame of the creators still burns. This is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.